welcome to episode 42 of the H-Bomb and J-Rock Unboxing Show. I'm Henry H-Bomb Higgins. And I'm Josh J-Rock Higgins. And today, as promised, we are looking at the nano metal figs that we got just impulse buying, which we've spoke about on previous videos, uh, when we were in Asda uh, last weekend, last Saturday. Uh, they're 196 each. Uh, we've got five figures here, all from DC. But there are Marvel figures there as well, uh, including characters like Agent Venom, uh, Spider Woman, Spider Man, uh, Groot Rocket, there was a Star Lord, Drax, Iron Man, there was a Captain America, uh, there was also a Cyborg. Um, but we've got five figures today, and we're going to run through them one at a time. And if you can see from the inset, we're going to run through them from left to right. So, do you want to pass the first one over, please, Josh? Yeah. And who is it? First guy is Superman. Yeah, and it looks like it's comic book Superman rather than Justice League. Now, obviously, these are just little figures. They're not... There's no articulation. There's nothing of the sort there. But it's a nice little piece, there's decent weight to it, yeah? Yep. Yeah. So decent weight to it. Um, so look, it's so an inch and a half tall, so obviously a small figure. But you can see it on there. Uh, it's nicely detailed, it's obviously Superman in a powerful pose. Uh, Colour scheme's nice, uh, paint work's really nice. Um, so yeah, for, I mean for 196, you can't really argue with it. Uh, so what's the next one then? The next one is the Joker from Suicide Squad. It is. Uh, a polarising figure, but I enjoyed Leto's version of the Joker. I honestly don't think there's ever been a bad version of the character. And he, he leans himself to many different interpretations. Anyway. So, if you have a look. Uh, the old Cesar Romero in the old 60s TV show is completely different to Nicholson's version, which is completely different to Heath Ledger's version, which is completely different to Jared Leto's version. So, it's all interpretation. And technically, yeah, we've got a proto-Joker in Joel and Gotham as well, who I actually think is one of the best versions we've had. And again, this is nice, nice bit of weight to it. Uh, Joker obviously in his long purple coat, keeping the colour scheme there. Uh, seems to have a wider base than Superman for some reason. But uh, yeah, it's a nice little figure. What's the next one, dude? So the next one is Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman! And again, this is comic book Wonder Woman, not Batman v Superman or Justice League Wonder Woman. Although there was a ver that version uh, is in the range that they were in as the yesterday, uh, last weekend. And she's posing rather powerfully, hands on the hips there with the whip. Not as much detail in the costume as there is in Superman and Joker. Um, but as you can see, obviously from behind there, striking a powerful pose. And next, next we have the Batman, the classic TV series Batman. I actually oohed when I saw this. Um, there is also uh, two other Batman figures there. There's the Justice League version, and there's a version of the armored Batman as well. But this is classic Adam West Batman. Which is the Batman I grew up with. This was my first exposure to Batman. So as you can imagine, it's quite corny. Oh dear. Quite corny, quite camp. Um, he's doing a similar pose to one of them in the sense of hands on the hips pose there. It's very, very unmistakably Adam West Batman. And it's pretty darn sweet. So it seems like all of those have had the same size of base. 
It seems like Superman's the only one with a small base so far, which is interesting. And last... In fact, lastly, we have the Suicide Squad version of Harley Quinn. Yeah. I uh, had to get a Harley Quinn. Anyone who's been a long time viewer of the channel knows that Harley Quinn is probably pushing the most collected figure in the entire collection. Uh, various different incarnations of her. I uh, do have a number of cool figures, but Harley Quinn definitely takes the cake. And she too has a wide base, so yes, it definitely is Superman's the only one. Um, again, not much detail, but unmistakably Harley Quinn from the Suicide Squad version. The baseball bat doing her signature pose. Uh, no real colouring in the hair, but again, it's 196. It's just a tiny little figure. And it's rather nice. I like it. So, young Mr. J. Rock, yeah. looking at these figures here, which one is your favourite? Um, it's hard to choose because they all are quite like, cool. They all have the same amount of detail to them, uh -huh. mostly, but I do got to go with Batman. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 60s Batman's cool, man. Cool man, Batman. Uh, so who, who is your favourite superhero? Just from DC. Not in general. Yeah, well, do, since it's all DC figures, yeah. From DC, who's your favourite superhero? I do not know. No? no. What, about, what about casting the net wider than including Marvel? Who's your favourite superhero? Mm. Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Good answer. Um, you've seen all the Spider-Man films, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that's cool. So that is a nice little range if you want to get yourself down to Asda. I don't know if it's in all the Asdas. Uh, the Asda that we went to was in Bangor. It's a, it's a larger store, isn't it? It's one yeah. of the larger Asdas. So they're possibly only available in the larger stores. But if you can get to one, as I say, one ninety six, so £2, just right up to £2. £2 each for those little figures. Pretty damn sweet. So, yeah. They'll join the collection, Harley will go over there with the other Harleys, the rest of them will piddle about somewhere. And next week, we will, I believe, J-Rock gave us a suggestion, didn't you? Yeah. That we'll be looking at, because we've done some, it's the Mega Blocks figures. Uh, we did the Call of Duty, we did a few Call of Duty ones, and then we got one of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles with Rocksteady and we built that and it was really cute so we actually have uh, the Bebop equivalent of the one we did plus we also have a Rocksteady and Bebop on the vehicles versions don't yeah. we? so they will be an unbox and build which we've not done on the show yet have we? Yeah. so yeah that was what we'll be doing the following week and so There'll probably be some cuts to that because they can be quite frustrating sometimes doing these building things. But yeah, so it'll be a build, an unboxing build with the Turtles, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Tears in a Half Shell. So yeah, so that's what we'll be doing. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for tuning in to watch us unbox the little things. We will see you again next week and enjoy the rest of your weekend. Goodbye. Bye.
Thank you.